I'm coming to you today with a quick tutorial video on how to put in um, using Pro Tools with Reason 4.0 or Reason Adapted, whatever it may be. All right, so uh, stay stay with me, and I'm gonna go ahead and get right into that. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna open up Pro Tools. So let me open up Pro Tools real quick. All right, so some people's Pro Tools takes forever to load. Some people's doesn't. It's all about uh, who's you're using or what Pro Tools you're using, how much stuff you got. Um, I don't have too much stuff for Pro Tools, so that's that. All right, so once Pro Tools opens up, you're going to come here. And you're going to open up a new uh, file. I think I already got one for this. Let me see. All right, yeah. This is a completely blank file, all right? Let me zoom in for you guys. All right. So, you're going to go ahead, you're going to come up here to track new. Then, you're going to get this right here alright if you got Pro Tools you should already know what this is all you're gonna do is open up a new instrument track alright this works for both mono and stereo so I'm gonna leave one mono oh put it as samples and then press one more and then we're gonna go in and make one for stereo as well alright then you click create so now you got your two uh, your two tracks, right? The way I got mine set up is from over here on this side I control all my instruments. I got two screens running. So one side I got my uh, my out my setup like this. Then on the other screen I have my mixers alright so the first thing you want to do is come to your mixer you're going to go to plug or uh, plug in this is for if you're if you're working in a mono you're going to scroll down until you get to instrument and then you're going to scroll down again until you get to reason reason should automatically open up like it did and just to verify that everything is set up in reason you come here and up in the top hand corner you see where it says rewire slave mode that's what you want to see on your reason All right, that means that it's reading uh, the Pro Tools as the primary uh, sequen sequencer not to say that you can't work inside a reason using its sequencer but that's what it's there for alright so you can go ahead and delete any mixer that you have and delete any mastering suite that you have as well because you're not gonna need that alright then what you're gonna do is go ahead and hit tab and on the back side here you see your, uh, your input whatever your instrument is since I'm using a mono track and I want to use the redrum I'm gonna track in my left uh, out to one in oh, I'm sorry you want to if you're using mono tracks you want to start with uh, the third input reason being one and two on the uh, hard the hardware device these two ports right here are set up for just um, stereo so you're gonna get your left and your right outputs on there so just keep in mind that you want to wire this to the third output since that's wired to your third output and your rewire you want to put that on the third output as well alright so you want to go ahead and click on there click and hold and then go to channel 3 alright 
So now you got those two things synced together. And then next thing you want to do is get some kind of instrument. Alright. I'm going to load up a quick drum patch real quick. Alright, this is one of my samples, alright? So, I got my sample going. And then, what you want to do is, just like in Reason, whenever you uh, get a new anything, what you want to do is come down here to where, uh, where your Record Enable button is and click that. Alright? So, that sets that up. Now, you got all that hooked up, you're ready to go. So, now you want to come back over. To your uh, MIDI track, or I'm sorry, your instrument track on here. And where underneath your instrument up here where it'll say instrument underneath there you want to click where it says none you should see your uh, your item rather be a, a redrum or whatever it is you go ahead and click that that lets this track know that it's recording the drum patterns that come through so now you're triggering it and to record in it is just like if you were recording in any other uh, Pro Tools session. You click it, you arm the track, and then I press three and alright. And then if you want to hear it back, you know, just hit the space bar. And it's recording right here as you can see. So, like I said, it works for stereo as well, but next thing you want to do is come back to your mixer. And you go right there. This is for stereo now. You're going to open up another reason thing, just like normal, and that's going to automatically uh, set it up for mixer left and right in here all right it's going to set up mixer left and right that's normal then once you get that set up you can come back here and you set this up you just got to remember that since you're working in uh stereo now you're going to get two channels at a time as opposed to one so our next open channels are going to be five and six all right, five and six is going to be our next open channel. So inside of uh, Reason, you need to make five and six your next available item. Let me go ahead and open something up here. Since this has a piano already loaded to it, I'm going to load that in there. And then when you hit the tab key, up here in the top, you should see two green lights. That's letting you know that it's hooked up. All right. Then, so now you're already triggering it. You can set this back down, and then you come over here back to this, and you do the exact same thing that you did on the first track. All right, I loaded up an NNXT, you click that, you go to NNXT, you click it, and now it opens this track up for you. So, when you come to play, go ahead and arm it if you want to record. Alright, and then hit three. And then play back. And that's how you set it up. Any questions, ask me. Alright, um, that's that.